The next mode we're going to go talk about is the sequence mode or the continuous mode. Now you won't be able to see this very clearly on this. I'll have to show um, a still video for you to see it. But underneath each number there's a corresponding time. For instance under 1 there's 0 .01. Under 2 there's 0 .05. Under 3 there's 0 .1 second. Basically the times get longer and longer as you go down until you get down to 20 and that's a whole full four seconds. On a, on a front or something of one second. Every one second the next receiver in the line will fire. So it starts off instantaneously with, uh, with the Q1 or receiver 1 and then two seconds later Q2 will go, two seconds later Q3 will go and vice versa all the way through your line. Let's talk about how to do this. First thing I'm going to do is you're going to power the systems on. Okay. I also do the optional mode on this. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, deprogram everything. So you're just going to keep your finger on the button here and you deprogram everything. And I'll go through the line until it's all finished. Okay, everything's been deprogrammed. Now we're going to set it to specific uh, buttons on the transmitter. So I'm going to hit the P button here, set the first one to 1, set this one to 2, set this one to 3, set this one to 4, Set this one to five. Okay, so now they're all programmed. The next thing you want to do, you want it in um, in sequential mode or continuous mode. You just figure out a time gap. We'll go for two seconds, which happens to correspond to button 17 here. It says two seconds under 17. So again, you're just going to hit the P button, and you're going to program it a second time to the time now. So I'll go program and push 17. Program. 17. Program 17. Okay. Now, when you're ready to fire the line, all you have to do is push the continue button or the sequence button, you'll see it light up. Okay. This one will go now. This one will go now. Okay, and that's how you do it very robust system. Uh, we'll do a couple quick live fires just so you can see these things fire some stuff off and uh, and that'll be that. Okay, I know it's really dark but I'm going to demonstrate something real quick. We're going to do the test mode. Test mode is you simply flip it up. See the little boy come on? That means that it's a good E-match or igniter. Okay, when you flip it back down in the hot position, you notice the red light comes on. That That is the uh, first uh, way that uh, when you turn it on, um, if you don't do it properly, you'll see this power light come on. Now, if you're just going to fire in single mode, that's fine. But just um, so we can do it properly and you know exactly how to do it, we'll do it correctly. I'll keep my finger on the power button, and I'll flip it on. You see it, it lights three times, indicating a proper sync. Same thing here. Comes on. We turn it off. Keep my finger on the P button, which I know you can't see because it's too dark. Flip it on. I'll go through the line and uh, we'll get it going. I've got a mixture between singles, doubles, um, doubles in parallel, triples in uh, series, and triples in parallel. Just to show you um, some of the different ways you might want to wire these. Okay, we're ready to fire off. Also for safety purposes, always make sure that when you're setting up your, uh, your receivers with the igniters, make sure you know exactly where your transmitters are at all times, that it's a safe and secure location, and uh, while you're setting up, Assume that the stuff you're firing off, or hooking up can fire off at any moment. So make sure your head and your limbs are in a safe place. So to begin with, we're just going to fire it off in sequence, starting with receiver one. Three, two, one, firing. Two, three, four, and five. 